of the year right around the corner. How about that? I'm talking about, of course, the WEBN Labor Day fireworks, and there's a party where you can not only get a great, and I do mean great, view of the show, but you can also help out the Children's Home of Cincinnati, an organization near and dear to my heart. Here with how you can get involved in the annual Rock and Ribs at River Fest is VP of Operations, Janet Burns, and we've also got committee volunteer, Melissa Lutz. Ladies, thanks for coming out today. Thanks for having us. Quite a party down on the river. I mean, I've been there, I've been there several times, and, and every year it's sort of it sort of blows me away. Let's start not with the party though. Let's start talking about Children's Home first. Let's start with that, Janet. Well, Bob, as you know, the Children's Home is 153 years old and we have not been a residential facility for now almost 20 years, but people still think of us as yeah. being residential. Yeah. Lots of new things happening there. Uh, we served uh, almost 7,800 children and families last fiscal year. Uh, we're expanding our services. We have a high school for children on the autism spectrum. Uh, we Come September 6th, we're opening a health center wow. with the Cincinnati Department of Health. It's a collaboration with them. Uh, we believe that our kids, not only do they need the behavioral health services that we've been offering, but also some primary care, yeah. which is really important. So lots of exciting things happening. Um, and the, the event, uh, Rock and Ribs, helps us raise money to provide all those services that we provide, which is like 21 programs. And yeah. Melissa, for you, who's someone who's been volunteering for, for the big event for so many years, what is it about what Children's Home does that brings you back to want to continue to volunteer? I just love volunteering for children. My kids have great advantages. Um, I've got older boys, and I just want to give back to the community. And I think starting with the children, you know, starting when they're young and really giving them that foundation so they can grow to be successful adults and do the same thing that I'm doing, give yeah. back to their community is important to me. And I think so often when we talk about helping children, sometimes we think about, you know, we think about little kids you know what i mean but you you help kids who are sort of anywhere in that age range that that need help it's not just little kids it's not just teenagers it's, it's kind of everybody right yes we're saying now from birth to independence oh wow yeah, um, that's going to be sort of our tagline yeah yeah so if we work with moms when um they're pregnant yeah. uh, and then we'll work with children up to age well young adults up to age 22. that's great that's great okay if we uh, is there anybody who still uh, wants to go and they they, they want to get tickets they want to be part of it they want to be right down in the montgomery and boathouse and watch the fireworks give me the details how do we make that happen can we still make it happen Definitely, yes. Definitely. Okay, go. <laughs> Jen, hit me, hit me with the details. For $175, they get easy access into the Montgomery and Boathouse parking. Yeah. They will have uh, cocktails and uh, hors d'oeuvres under a tent and then go into the Montgomery Inn restaurant itself for a sit-down dinner yeah. uh, and then be able to walk over to the riverfront and see the fireworks. And it's a perfect spot. Mm. I will be down there helping host the festivities. Ladies, great talking to mm. you. I'll see you very soon down on the river. Great. Thanks, All right. Bob. Thanks. John, over to you.